Yo, what's going on, and welcome to another Call of Duty video. I'm your Godzilla, and today I'm gonna be showing you the first episode in the road to Nuked Out, in which I'm clearly just gonna go for Nuked Out, which, well, it's gonna be a challenge. I'm, I really have bad luck with all sorts of like really high streak challenges, and for this challenge, I'm definitely gonna be playing very, very try hard, and so. As you can see in this class, I'm using the VMP, which is of course one of the best weapons in the game, and it currently is my favorite. And look how I get killed there! Come on, dude! The guy was sitting on top of the stairs using a haymaker. Like, ugh, those kind of players, really. As you can see, I'm playing really, really uh, slow. Just because I don't want to die useless, <laughs> because of useless things. As you can see, I pick up the kill on the guy who was camping still in the corner with his haymaker. I'm mainly playing on sound here just because, well, yeah, <laughs> it's the best, the most reliable way to predict people. This is recorded from the uh, theater mode, so shooting looks a little bit messed up, I think. Look, when I shoot full auto, it should be happening very soon because... Of course, shooter. And look, it, I don't know. The recoil looks a little bit weird. There's an enemy who got a UAV right now, so I'm gonna be playing very careful. I'm gonna be going out of there because I know there's two people, and you really never want to challenge two people at the same time. And this guy just gets out of here because, which is lucky because I feel at jumping. I'm gonna pick up the purifier, which is the strongest specialist by far in the entire game. And this is the one I have chosen, at least for now, to use for my road to the Nuked Out challenge. And let's go ahead uh, about the class. The class is a VMP with extended mag, grip, and a silencer. I think. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. The uh, perks I'm using are... Awareness and Dead Silence, which are pretty much two perks I use on literally every one of my classes except for the challenge classes. Which are basically only like one or two classes. Just to get my 100% challenge completion. And as a perk 2 I'm running Scavenger, which is very much a must have because you don't want to rely on uh, ground weapons for, well, any type of high <laughs> uh, kill streak, uh, really. Especially not the ones that, well, <laughs> are so hard to get, like the Nuked Out. The Nuked Out is considered probably one of the hardest, if not the hardest challenge. As you can see, I'm waiting for this guy because I know he's coming because of the uh, hater. I just predict him and he's gonna be calling me a camper. Look, and this, uh, I mean, uh, I'm gonna go for the Nuked Out, but I know it's gonna be a challenge, just... It's really hard, you know. The thing is, I always die like this. I mean, I got killed because of a guy who freaking double jumped and killed me with like a dragon hip fire. I mean, that kind of stuff always happens to me, so that's really what's gonna make this challenge very, very hard. But before that, you will, guys will definitely be seeing some very good, I think, very good free for all gameplays, even though I'm not going flawless in all of them. <laughs> The class also has a trip mine. The point of the trip mine is really just to secure my uh, to watch my back because of course you won't have teammates. So the trip mine is very good to sort of assist you as a teammate to, to either well show where the enemy is coming from or when the where the enemy well even kill the enemy sometimes. As you can see, the game is about to wrap up. I'm at 25 out of 30 kills, which. Well, <laughs> ooh, this was uh, this was really panicky. I I was so stressed about this because I knew he could see me. And right here, I think I'm gonna wrap it up very soon. I'm gonna take out the dracon noob. I freaking hate that gun. Oh my god, <laughs> it's horrible. The gun is so overpowered. It's ugh. as you can see, the hater is about to come in, but I'm only two kills off. 
as I get killed by some guy who threw a random nade. Lovely. And well, in f in later episodes, I am gonna be talking about well how you should go for it because I'm really actively going for it right now. So I know a little bit about how to best go for it, get it, and how I got closest usually. And as you can see, I ended up uh, thirty to four, which is not a bad score because there were some pretty decent people in this lobby. I mean. The 420 guy, I know he's only like level 10 or something, but he had like a 1.5 KD, so... Yeah, re this wasn't the optimal lobby for Nuked Out, but as you can see, I could have done it, but it was also my first game of today. So yeah, that's basically it for this video, and see you guys in the next one. Bye!